Ah, good morning everybody. This is Kelvin. Hi. Kelvin is our archaeologist who will be yes. taking you guys today and, and teaching you all the wonders of archaeology. And <laughs> well, some of them. Anyway. The... My name's Glenda Hyde and I'm a Ngunnawal woman. I um, just want to acknowledge that we are working on Ngunnawal land and it's important that we actually preserve all our sites. They tell us a story about our people, our ancestral people. So what we're going to be doing today is you can see this track here that we've been walking along. It's a forestry, it's a fire access track and if you walk over there to the other side of the fence you'll see there's a little creek running in and we've got a little creek valley behind us and at this point here the creek comes out onto the Murrumbidgee floodplain. So this is the Murrumbidgee floodplain here and it just so happens that there are Aboriginal artefacts in this sort of area here. And when they recently just so this, this track event's again, called IDIC Heritage, and it's um, it's part of the Canberra and Region Heritage Festival for 2010, and in partnership with Actually Corporation, what we have is some dirt, a big dirt pile, way over that way, that's um, come out of uh, some some of the work that they did for the um, Enlarged Cotter Dam salvage operation, and it's a pile of dirt that hasn't actually been sifted through or sorted through to find out what's in it. Um, and so the heritage unit said, well, why don't we get together and, and actually get some community members out and, and see if they can, um, what they can find and, and get a bit of a, a taste of what it's like to be an archaeologist. The other things that we might be finding, we might find European stuff as well, bits of metal, bits of old glass, that sort of thing. And that's coming from a workman's camp that was here probably when they constructed the structure that you can see behind us. See that thing that's painted in green? That's the, the outlet of a tunnel. And so there's a tunnel that goes through this ridge here. Mm -hmm. This is called Moores Hill. And that has had a pipe in it that runs water from the Cotter Dam to the pump station over there. And then that supplied Canberra's water. So this was the first major big construction in the Australian Capital Territory. So it's quite historic from our point of view, from Canberra's point of view. Um, I manage four Aboriginal business groups who work alongside Calvin Officer and they um, are registered with the Heritage Unit and they um, collect all the artefacts. So this is like their workstation that they work. So you'd be doing what they actually do. And welcome and thank you for turning up today. In Canberra, you will find artefacts because they are actually all over the place. And it just gives you that greater appreciation of just how old this country is and how old human occupation of this country is. So it's really nice just sitting here not just to be able to appreciate what you can see now, which is some pretty modern technology and so forth, but to think that people have been here many, many thousands of years camping and, and living on this Murrumbidgee River corridor. Does everyone like the idea of getting dirty? Yes. Yes, absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> This is a big one. This one, this one's been made from a, a river cobble. See how it's smooth, that yeah. nice alluvial yeah. surface. And they've said, yep, that's that's the sort of rock that we want. And then they flaked it all on one side. So they've had a, a hammer rock and they've just been hammer stone. And they've just been chipping around like this around the side to get this. It's really like a hand chopper, isn't it? Mm. So you could you could have chopped uh, wood or coarse. Sort of, um, the real types. benefit is that, that a lot of, particularly young people, we really tried to aim this this um, event at, at people aged about 12 and over, so they don't get a chance to do this kind of thing and to really see that, you know, aside from Indiana Jones, they've probably never really been around archaeology and and um, it's it's just a different, it's another career choice, it's another thing that's out there and that they might be able to, to do in their lives and it gives them an opportunity to at least just to consider it. That's called the bulb of percussion and most flakes have it. There's the platform elsewhere, but this sort of material doesn't occur locally. It's come in from further afar. Turn it over and wash it out with the water. Mm. Uh, and you can, you can do that on the ground, that's no problem, but if you bash it against the ladder, you get this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're enjoying it a lot, yeah. Once we get over 
bursting the illusion that we're all Indiana Jones and we've got large tomb balls chasing after us and uh, we've got the funnel webs maybe but that's about it. <laughs> but apart from that once you get stuck into the reality of it it's actually much more interesting than the films and uh, yeah I think they're all really enjoying themselves. We found, uh, what did we find? Is there a piece of glass? glass. That's about it for the moment. <laughs> Gold panning, isn't it? It'd be gold. It'd be gold if we found something good. So it's probably from some sort of bottle, but it was only very small. So, what do you think that is, Mrs? I think it might just be wood. Yeah. Tip it over like that. So that's a bit of quartz, but yeah. see how it's but chunky? It's just chunky. Yeah. yeah, just just that. Uh, I'm Jasmine Foxley and I'm a Heritage Policy Officer with the ACT Heritage Unit. We are responsible for um, en well, enforcing the ACT Heritage Act. We receive his reports and review his reports and work quite closely with uh, Kelvin and his archaeologists as well as the representative Aboriginal organisation. Well, we found some good artefacts. We've got, uh, I like the tobacco tins, yeah, that was indicative of the workers uh, at, the, at the campsite here. And, uh, bone and glass. Yeah, bone and glass. Oh, that's the, uh, it looks like the end of a, of a square medicine bottle, something like that. It's amazing how enthusiastic you can get about dirt. <laughs> the thing is, you never know what's going to come out of the next bucket just a naturally interesting thing, you know, to find out what was here before and just to get that time depth from the landscape that you're in rather than just living in the present, to actually know that there's been people here for thousands of years. Uh, and even just in 1915 when the workmen were here, their world was quite different to the one we live in now. And it's nice to just get a little window into that from the artefacts we've, we've been uh, uncovering today. What have we got here? You know, in the future when we're building our next dam for Canberra, for example, some of these kids might be the ones that are coming out to, to do the dig for us. So um, it's, it's kind of it's an exciting thing for us to be able to, to give them the opportunity.